Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with the Demon Slayer Mugen Reshahen, the anime episode number six. Okay, the previous episode, um, we kind of defeated uh, the demon, but now the bigger problem is going to come, which we all know what's going to happen. And the train derailed and Tanji also kind of got a little stabbed, you know, and you know, you know, Ske helped them get out of that situation. Quite a few things happened, and we all know what is happening. Right? People who have seen the movie, we all know what's happening and what is going to happen. So yeah, now, now I'm guessing these two episodes, episode six and seven, are probably. I think this this uh, short, like you know, anime adaptation has like, I think it has seven episodes. So I'm kind of wondering how they're going to complete this in two episodes. So let's see. Like you know, like hopefully they don't like you know increase the pace they keep the pace like it is going and hopefully they're able to conclude it like that because i feel like the first part took quite a long while so hopefully they're able to fit in everything within these two episodes let's see let's see what this i'll, I'll probably be able to understand how this is going to go after seeing this episode so let's see this episode and let's see like how this is going to go how the pace is going to go so yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is episode number um, uh, six of uh, Demon Slayer Mugen Resha in the anime. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. Like, I don't know why are they giving this little, uh, you know, recap. Like, they don't need to do that. We already saw the movie, so. Like, the things that we're seeing now happened in the previous episode so why are they giving a recap and like you know it's taking extra time anyways all right And now, you know, Kamikagura. Whew. All right, and the train, train derails. Okay. Now, Rengoku is going to end this soon, but then the problem will start. All right. Akaza, here we go.
Oh boy, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Oh yeah, that guy. Oh boy. Okay. Oh. Okay, there you go. I, like, I was saying this in the previous episode, you know, like how are the passengers going to be okay? The muscle mass inside the train probably will act as a cushion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, well, weird flex. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, okay, I forgot about this. <laughs> Pluck out all the hair. <laughs> yeah. They probably help the passengers. Oh my god, here we go. Oh yeah, this thing. Well, that's your fault. Well, he was too cocky, you know? Yeah. And Nezuko as well. <clears throat> okay, he okay. It's not even dawn and he's disintegrating. Because the head got, you know, slashed. Oh. 
Oh, these are the. Oh, that girl. I think we're going to see her um in the next season, in the entertainment district arc. Okay, so she's the demon. Yeah, nightmare. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> yeah, and probably pass that up as well. <laughs> Damn. Oh boy. Imagine being able to patch up your wounds by just breathing and concentrating. Especially internal ble bleeding. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, any time. Uh here we go is this it yeah there you go well oh boy oh great Upper three. Ah. Oh. oh. Ah, nasty. Oh, he, I forgot his vo- So this is his voice actor, okay. <laughs> I already dislike you. Uh, I'll talk about this later, but after watching the movie, I don't like this guy. This I'll talk about it later. Hmm. Akaza. That's easy mode, dude. 
basically demons are like like demons like Akaza basically they want the easy mode we can appreciate life yeah Yeah. Yeah. All right. Compass Needle Oh I forgot what his technique does actually Oh Damn Whoa, look at that. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. This guy's one of the most egotistical, um, you know, demons I've seen. Like Akaza, I'm talking about. All right. Hmm. I need to shorten the distance. All right. Keep quiet. Yeah. My god, damn these animations. Whew. Oh, <laughs> oh, my god, you know, skin. Oh wow, great. That's that doesn't seem like a good time. Damn, this guy's ego. Oh. 
Yeah. The, yeah, they're too much of a high. Oh boy. Damn. Oh. My God. Oh. Oh, God. Nah. God damn. Uh, like I remember from the movie like Akasa is one demon that I really don't like I don't know why but probably because of his attitude like he has a weird type of an attitude which is like it's weird like he's egotistical number one like which is one thing that I really hate in ca characters being egotistical like that's one of the characters that I really don't like in like, you know any type of anime characters like Akasa is the definition of that egotistical that's like number one number two is he he has no ideals like everyone can enjoy a good villain when they have ideals strong enough ideals that can rival the main protagonist that's what a good villain has a vi good villain must have ideals which like i which which would be so strong that you cannot like that 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 probably like you know makes a villain so good which this guy lacks completely he has no ideals he is just like okay i'm going to talk about this just a sec Let's let's watch the next part, the little oh this part. Okay, you know it's okay. Not the time. I think this will be some kind of a joke or something. Let's see. They try to make this potion lighthearted, so 
Oh no, I think this is... Oh no, okay, they, they kept it serious, even at the end. Okay, I, th I thought they were going to like, you know, pull out some kind of a joke or something. Because especially the last section, the little last skit that they have in every section. It's kind of like a funny part. So I thought they were going to like, you know, pull out some joke, like, you know, Rengoku turning around and probably having a weird face or something. I thought something like that is going to happen, but no, they kept it serious. So, right, anyway, yeah, as I was saying, Akaza is a character that I really don't like. Um, number one, as I said, he is egotistical. Number two, he has no ideals. Like, that's the biggest thing that actually bothers me. He seemed like, like, you know, when he was first introduced, you know, um, like, I've seen the movie, I know what he does after this, you know, so, um, he was, when he was first introduced and when they were fighting and everything, I thought he had an ideal of, I don't know, like, probably, as he said, like, I like stronger, uh, strong people. And, you know, like, I thought that there will be, like, a mutual respect Akaza would have towards Rengoku because he's so strong. There was nothing like that we saw the movie what he does after that like you know the way he kind of wimps out you know akas i'm talking about and the way his personality completely goes like a 180 whenever he as soon as he realizes that his life is in danger that's not something that i expected of him i thought he would be like those honorable demons idealist demons who i would probably like but no he wasn't which was a really a big, like, you know, big disappointment when I watched the movie because I, I really thought that he would be someone like that. But no, nope, he was not. He, like, as soon as he saw that he's going to die, he just ran. And, <laughs> like, and, like, you know, like, and I can understand, you know, like, obviously, like, people fear for their death. I can understand that. But the way he was speaking so, like, you know, like, speaking such tall words before this, speaking, uh, I don't know, some kind of, uh, like, in a way that seems as if, makes it seem as if he's superior to everybody, the way he was speaking. <laughs> the thing that he does after that, like, you know, running away with the tail behind their, uh, what is it called? Tail behind their legs? I think, yeah. <laughs> with the tail behind their legs, uh, behind his legs. It doesn't match at all. The way he was boasting about himself and then that, you know, as soon as he sees that he's going to die. So th these are all the reasons why I really don't like him. And as I said, like he, he has no ideals. He has, he, he just wants to, I don't know, like have fun, I guess, like, you know, by uh, fighting all, all the time and what, whatever and killing people, whatever he does. So that's not a good enough ideal. Like I appreciate like, you know, a villain who has an ideal, a, a proper, uh, solid ideal. But no, he probably, this character probably doesn't have one. Now, here's the thing. Um, I'm saying this, obviously, after seeing the movie. Now, I have not read the light novel. Oh, no, it's not light novel. Sorry, this has a manga, no light novel. Uh, I've not read the manga. So, I don't know what happens to him, whether he gets, like, some kind of character development on the future or not. Or maybe something happens. I'm not sure. So, everything that I'm talking is based on the information that I got after watching the movie and my impression, my initial impression on him. Maybe he will have like a character development in the future, which will make it seem as if like, yeah, this guy, yeah, he like the initial impression was probably bad, but he, he has, he's a good villain like that. Like obviously like um, villains are also characters that people can like, you know, like, it's not that, yeah, like all the good characters are good. That's not the case here. Villains are also a well-written villain is as enjoyable as a well-written main protagonist. So as I said, like the initial impression for me at least was bad about Akaza. I don't like him at all, but I don't know what happens in the manga and what will happen in the future in the anime. So that's why like, who knows if he gets some kind of major character development or something as a villain, I could appreciate that, but who knows, you know, but for now, my initial impression of Akaza is bad completely bad especially after the whole movie after watching the movie so yeah i don't like him and <clears throat> now here's the thing uh I can't, like, like, okay uh, the beginning of the episode obviously we kind of get to see the end of the other demon the lower demon and how he was repenting as to like how he wasn't able to do anything all that stuff you know like how everyone kind of got in their way in his way all that stuff and then he like you know died 
Now, obviously, like, you know, even without it being dawn, he died because his neck was cut by the uh, sword, by the uh, demon slaying sword. So that's why he died. Now, that's the end of him. Like, as I said before, like, his, like, you know, like, his portion kind of felt a lot anticlimactic after, you know, like, after seeing season one, the final episode, where this character was hyped up quite a bit. You know, when the whole episode with Muzan, you know, Muzan coming and selecting the character and like he was selected out of all of them. And the way he acted and everything, I was like, damn, this, this guy would probably be a problem. But nah, he, 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 he was probably even not like he was, I think uh, the problem that Tanjiro faced uh, facing him was even lesser than the uh, other demon. I, I can't remember the name. But do you remember that uh, demon, um, the spider one in season one, uh, the the little kid spider demon, I can't remember his name at all, but uh, I think it was episode 17 or 18, something like that. The whole episode where Nezuko had used his, uh, used her blood demon out for the first time, that episode, like that beautiful episode, you know, I think that kid, I don't remember his name, as I said, that kid demon is probably a lot more better competitor than this guy here who just died because he underestimated the characters. That's what happened. He was underestimating all the characters. I don't know why, but he was like, oh, like, yeah, everyone's sleeping. Aha, everything will be fine. I'll be able, easily able to, I'll be able to kill them. But then in comes Sanjuro and just slashes off his head. So like, that's why I'm saying like, I felt like the spider demon was a better, like, you know, what do you call it? A stronger villain than this guy. And this guy probably, as I said, probably underestimated them. And that's why he wasn't able to show anything. And he just died in the middle of it. So yeah, that was anticlimactic because the episode, season one episode, uh, the final episode kind of hyped him up. And then this happens. <laughs> but you know what? Uh, like, I guess the main focus of uh, Mugen Reshahen is, is not this demon, but uh, Akaza. And yeah, that's what happened. He, Akaza is like a strong demon and we kind of see that for ourselves. And we know what happens after this, so... Yeah. Okay, now obviously the animations are fantastic. Like I again, like you know, after watching this episode, I again got reminded of the beautiful animation. Like the smooth fighting uh, animations and each and everything. So... Yeah, and now here's the thing, uh, Akaza's, what can I say, like the things that he was, he was saying, he was like, oh, you're wasting your potential because since you're so strong, if you become a demon, you'll be even stronger. Now, it seems, it seems like, I don't know, like, you know, like, it seems like Akaza wants to play an easy mode game. Like, that's what he's saying, like, you know, like, for example, we can see. Rengoku and Akaza fighting. Akaza doesn't even need to care about his body because his hand can actually get slashed off a thousand times. He can just pop a new one out. Unlike Rengoku who has to keep himself safe from Akaza because once his hand goes, it'll go forever. It, it won't come back. So like these are the things, you know, like this, this shows that how skilled Rengoku is, how much stronger Rengoku is than Akaza. Akaza acting boasting about his power and like you know like his egotistical attitude of being like uh like you know stronger than rengoku is completely wrong because obviously he's playing the easy mode as you know like he like he, akaza is a character who is boasting about his skills after he popped out two or three cheat codes in a video game while uh, rengoku is a character who is playing the video game in a hard mode without any cheat code that's basically what's happening now obviously we can understand who is the most skilled one obviously it's rengoku while this guy he's egotistical like you know his prideful attitude of like oh i'm better than you because i'm a demon and i have this and that like you know like i can pop one hand out if my hand goes uh like you know is get slashed off like you know like him him kind of fighting like that like that that's another one of the things that i really dislike about him because he like you know his again it, it all boils down to his egotistical attitude his his show off like you know the way he shows off the way he's boasting about the skills that is basically he has because he's a demon 
otherwise he would be nothing if if akaza was a human rengu would have slapped him and he would have like you know <laughs> it would have ended him i think so yeah like he's he's basically boasting of his demon powers that's what he's doing and it really shows how much of a more disciplined how much of a more stronger and a better character all the humans are all the demon slayers are like for example like rengoku all the hashiras are you know how better they are than the demon like you know than the other demons because yeah they can just pop out two hands if they lose two so like it's it's not an equal evaluation of their skills the demon slayers the hashiras are like you know are very much um in like you know their power level is very much nerfed uh, in comparison to the demons so yeah like that's what it is so like you know akaza was was like yeah you're losing your uh, what are you wasting your talents and whatever he was saying now <clears throat> i don't know like he what can i say like uh, yeah like i i don't really like him like nothing much to talk about him his his attitude kind of rubs me the wrong way all the time <sighs> and i have to say like you know the voice actor like i'm i'm quite curious like i've heard this voice actor a lot of times he is um uh, katsura's voice actor from gintama what's his name let just me let me just check like his voice acting is top notch like especially his villain voice acting he 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 really makes that uh, let me check his akira ishida uh let's see uh ginta is it yeah ginta makasuri kotaro like okay who else has he done let's see um gara oh gara okay gara zeref from fairy tale um who else uh demon said okay you know uh there's a few others as well oh yeah um from food wars uh the dad i think was it the no not the dad the other one sorry uh okay yeah all all these characters um from God. Oh, Nagisa from um, Neon Genesis, Kaoru. Okay, all these characters. So yeah, so as I was saying, like I love whenever like he plays a villain's voice acting, like you know whenever he does a villain's voice acting, I love it. And like the reason why is that if you guys know this, like you know I I play Honkai Impact Three. There's a character called Otto Apocalypse who is also voice acted by this character this guy you know um Akira Ishida who who is as I said who is the voice actor of Akaza and um Otto Ak Apocalypse in Honkai Impact is one of the most well written villains that I at least have ever seen in any kind of anime or like you know video game or whatever he's one of the most well written villains like he's one of the perfect villains like he's like you know like you feel so sick looking looking at him and know after knowing what he did like it's, it just makes it so better so much better as a villain so the way he voice acts there is top notch and that's why i was kind of like you know as soon as i heard his voice i was like oh so he's voice acted by this guy, person um akira ishida so like as i said like you know akira ishida voice acting he does the villains very well it has like this weird calm type of a voice which pairs so well in a villain like you know the way he talks it's it's so uncanny whenever you realize it's a villain and like you know like he can he can probably twist that whenever like in in gintama when he plays katsura kotaro he twists that into a very funny way of speaking like katsura is one of the funniest characters in gintama so he can make you feel uncanny when he's playing as a villain and if he's like in a comedic role he can make you laugh your head off so that's like his like you know the way he voice acts and i love that so <laughs> yeah it's like this voice actor actor is just amazing yeah that's why i was like you know i was kind of curious as to who is the one who's voice acting then akaza so yeah all right 
so yeah that was it that was this episode and you know like in the end akasa is beating up rengoku while rengoku is like you know like with his own skills obviously because he can pop out two hands you know unlike um akasa um rengoku has to save himself you know as to keep track of his like you know limbs in case they get cut off or something <laughs> keep track of his injuries uh, because yeah you know he's a human he cannot regenerate so yeah and like even after that he is fighting on par with akaza and that's just impressive like hats off to rengoku while this guy is boasting about his power while just playing the game on an easy mode with some cheat codes so yeah like anyways <laughs> so yeah that was it and uh in the end we kind of see uh you know like rengoku kind of being exhausted and everything and akaza's like let's fight more don't die so yeah anyways so that's it and i'm i'm sure everyone knows what's going to come in the next episode so yeah <laughs> be ready <laughs> and yeah like nothing else to say so that's it guys thank you guys for watching this was my reaction to demon slayer mugen resha and the anime episode number six so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with the final episode of demon slayer mugen resha in the anime so yeah and after that the next season will start so yeah see you guys then until then goodbye and have a nice day